Here we go with the final then, here in Tetero. Greg Hancock going off the inside. Can the old master get a 22nd GP win in his 199th Grand Prix appearance? Niels Christian Everson goes off gate two. Bartosz Marslik gate three. Jason Doyle going off the outside. Tough one to call this. You have to fancy Hancock off the inside gate. What can the other three do against the old master? Well, you're right, and uh, he went off gate two and made a beauty start in semi-final two, but has now elected to go off the inside gate, and uh, maybe that's because they haven't done any track grading in the semi-finals or before the final. Possibly the dirt is very, very wide, and uh, he's going to creep around the inside. Everson's ridden well. Doyle, what can he come up with? We've seen some terrific performances from him. He's been riding supremely well when he won the Grand Prix last time out. The race was extraordinary. He and Ty Wolfenden put on a terrific show, passing each other on numerous occasions. Settling down, the gardening's been done. The big five is about to come up. The grand final here in Tetano. The first ever Grand Prix of this track. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get to that first turn? Smarsling trying to get a drop on Greg Hancock. Down the back straight, Bartos Smarsling. What a ride. Here comes Doyle round. Set up, what a move, they've gone back to the winning set up and they're winning the final. Hancock back in third, that's ideal for Doyle. Doyle will close in the championship chase with Everson out the back. But Jason Doyle going on to win his third Grand Prix of the season, what a rider. Can you believe it? Jason Doyle, the man of the moment, four wins earlier and now he is going to win the German Grand Prix. And third place went to the line with Everson and Hancock. That was simply stunning. The final belongs to Jason Doyle.